In last week's issue in the Age of Republic comic series, the focus was on Jango Fett. The issue primarily focused upon Jango's tutoring of Boba, allowing his son to begin to build his fearsome reputation through an otherwise innocuous and relatively safe job. Boba would ultimately pass his father's test. But the issue also included an excellent scene between Jango and Dooku that saw Jango agree to become the genetic template of the clone army upon Kamino. In this video expose, we'll look at this brief scene and describe some of the similarities and differences in how this canon depiction relates to Legends. As Jango explains the importance of reputation to Boba, an earlier scene is shown where Jango meets with Dooku on the moons of Bogdan. However, as the dialogue makes clear, Jango doesn't know that it's specifically Dooku, the former Jedi, but simply a man named Tyrannus. The discussion between them picks up after what appears to be a negotiation, with Dooku confident that Jango would accept the price the Kaminoans were offering, for regular access to his genetic template and for Jango to reside on Kamino. As noted by Dooku, Jango could continue his line of work in the bounty hunting business, but the compensation from the Kaminoans was more than enough to allow him to retire. With the compensation issue seemingly settled, Jango offered one key question. Why him when the galaxy was filled with skilled bounty hunters? The answer came easy for Dooku. There were few within the galaxy with his reputation, in the area of both skills and discretion. With that, Dooku attempted to appeal to Jango's ego, telling him that the clones would go on to form a Grand Army of the Republic, a show of strength unlike any other in the history of the galaxy. Such a legacy was priceless in the eyes of Dooku. But for Jango, he was only interested in the credits. That, and of course his personal request for an unaltered clone in Boba. The scene ends there, and although it's relatively brief and serves to bolster the primary storyline with Jango and Boba, it's a fascinating one when compared to Legends. The Moons of Bogdan serving as the location for the discussion that established Jango as the prime clone is a great connection to Legends. In Legends, Jango was recruited by Dooku on the moons of the planet Bogdan within the Inner Rim. The Legends comic Jango Fed Open Seasons saw a very similar discussion take place on Colma, while the Legends novel Labyrinth of Evil refers to a recruitment on Bog 4, both of which were moons of Bogdan. The differing sources cause the official StarWars.com databank entry for Jango simply to refer to the moons of Bogdan as the place where Jango was approached by Dooku, rejecting any single moon as the location and allowing for Jango's recruitment on multiple moons over time. The canon has now adopted the moons of Bogdan location from Legends, which seems to refer to the many moons of the planet Bogdan which appear in the sky during this scene. It's a nice continuation from Legends in this case. One of the more disappointing aspects to the meeting, however, was no reference to the Jedi during Dooku's appeal to Jango for serving as the Prime Clone, and more specifically, Jango's desire for revenge against the Jedi Order. In a similar scene that took place in Legends within the comic Open Seasons, one of the primary motivations for Jango to allow the Kaminoans access to his genetic template was so that he could play a role in the destruction of the Jedi. This, of course, was revenge for the role the Jedi played in eradicating his group of true Mandalorians during the Battle of Galadron. In canon now, it isn't clear whether Jango is motivated for revenge against the Jedi to this extent. His primary motivation seems to be the credits and the unaltered clone, not too different from Legends in that regard. An event like the Battle of Galadron may no longer be part of canon, but I wouldn't completely dismiss it at this point. The Jedi might not have come up simply because Jango doesn't appear to know that Tyrannus is Dooku in this scene. In open seasons, Jango's hatred of the Jedi factors into his decision to become the Prime Clone because Dooku meets with Jango without hiding his true identity. Jango knows not only that Dooku was a former Jedi, but that he played a role in the Battle of Galadron. And thus, the topic of Jango's hatred of the Jedi had to be addressed between them. In the scene from Age of Republic, it appears Dooku's identity is hidden, appearing before Jango simply as Tyrannus, with no other indications that he was a Jedi at any point. Therefore, Jango's hatred for the Jedi due to his past may still be a factor in canon, but I do wish that it was brought up in some way during this exchange, giving Jango some knowledge that the clones would be used against the Jedi as in Legends. 
So there we have it, the meeting between Django and Dugu that established the clone army in canon, and how it relates in some respects to Legends. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive rewards and discussions. If not for me... For demanding Jedi hatred as part of canon.